So now that we've learned about PHP variables, how to call upon them, how to use them, and how to display them on the website, we can go ahead and learn about PHP operators. Now PHP operators are basically used to operate on a value. So for example, the value could be a variable x. And we can have that equal to 1. Now the operator on that can be a plus sign, meaning it'll add whatever you want on it. And then same deal goes with subtraction and multiplication and division. Now there's some special PHP operators that use plus plus, which means it adds one onto the previous value, whereas just a regular plus adds to a predefined value. So for example, you have to define another value in order to use plus. If you just use plus plus, it'll add one to the previous value. Same with uh, minus minus, it subtracts one. So let's do a plus plus example. Leave um, the variable x there defined, and we will go x plus plus, and we'll echo that x to see what it will give us on the index page. Now let's go to localhost. There you go. And we get a 2. As you can see, it adds 1 to the previous value, giving you a 2. Now if you go x minus minus and echo x, you get a 0. It subtracts 1 to the previous value. Now there are some other operators that you can use to compare and to assign to specific variables. So for example, let's have a variable of x is equal to y. All right? That is the same thing as x is equal to y. All right? And if you have x plus equals y, that is the same thing as x is equal to x plus y. So it goes on like this. If you can have subtract, you can have multiplication, division, and all that fun stuff. But the real thing is the comparison variables that you're going to be using a lot. So the first operator com uh, comparison variable, or operator, might as well say that, is equal equal sign. So double equal sign. This, these kinds of operators are return a value. So for example, if you have uh, 1 is equal equal to 2, this will give you return value false because 1 does not equal 2. So the double equal sign basically means equal equal 2. Now an exclamation mark equal sign, this will give you return value of true because an exclamation ma mark in PHP or Java or any other similar language like that means does not equal to if you have equal there so one does not equal to two that will give you a return value of shoe because one does not really equal to two and the basic other operators are greater than sign so for example one is greater than two which will give you a return value of false because one is not greater than two and this will give you a return value of true because one is lesser than two now you can have stuff like 1 is lesser than or equal to 2. This will also give your return value false because 1 is lesser than 2 does not equal to 2. And you can also have stuff like 1 is greater than or equal to 2 which is which also does give your return value false. Now there's some other operators that you use known as uh, logical operators. Pretty much, there's three basic ones that you use, and it is and and sign, to and. This is basically equal to and. So, for example, mm, let me f do an example real quick here. So, say so you have y as 5 and x as 3. You can have 
x is lesser than 10, which is true, and y is greater than 1, which is also true. So this and sign includes all this. So for example, x is greater than 10, I mean x is lesser than 10, and y is more than 1, which in this case is true. Another type of operator that we use for logical stuff is just a double bar sign, which is what I like to call it. It's basically like this. That's equal to or, pretty much. So if you have y is equal to 5 and x is equal to 3, and if you go y is equal equal to 10, I mean x, or y is equal to equal to 1. This will give you a false return statement because x is actually equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. So basically how you read this line with this is x is equal to 10 or equal y is equal to 1, which is false. The other type of operator we have, as we stated before, is the exclamation mark, which is does not equal. So for example, again, if you have y is equal to 5 and x is equal to 10, and we can just rewrite this to have does not equal x equal equal to y. That means x does not equal to y. This is how you read this line. x does not equal to y. This will give you a turn statement of true because x really does not equal to 5. And y does not equal to 3. So thanks for watching today's tutorial. Next tutorial will be going over if and statements or if else statements and how to integrate this to actually make the real kind of code. So stay tuned.